Hello again viewers, watch until the end and I'll take you to the number one rated best restaurant in Las Americas Tenerife on TripAdvisor. I've got some family who've been recently and they highly recommend it. That's the Andorra Hotel, they've also got apartments in there as well. Quite a lot of viewers I've met stayed in there, good location. Just round the corner from the Park de la Paz strip. Across the road, we've got the Central Centre Hotel. Kind of more like a business hotel, a lot of golf groups in there. Got a rooftop pool. Um, one of the more affordable ones in Las Americas. I've done videos up here, up this road. Basically, you come up, kind of back end of San Telmo, really, at the top, towards Los Cristianos. Um, you've got the Marola Portisan Apartments. I know quite a lot of viewers have stayed in there. I've done videos up there as well. Check it out in the channel. But let's walk down and I'll show you this restaurant. They do tapas. Uh, Paul and Laura, if you've been watching the channel, you'll know that's my brother and his wife. We're in here the other day. They said the food was fantastic and they said the staff were really, really nice and friendly and they would recommend it. And obviously the reviews in TripAdvisor are going to back that up. So let me know if you can guess where we're going. Did you know they've got a wee kind of shopping centre in there? They've got a cinema in there. Did you know that? A cinema. Now, let me show you where I was staying last night. It was a complete waste, really, to be honest with you. I checked in, got my room. I checked in earlier on, but the room wasn't ready. And I come back after seven o'clock, got the key, got changed, headed out, went to Safari Centre, the lovely Chinese, went to the Bull's Head, seen the Vagabonds. Went to the Dubliner, got back at 3.30 in the morning and then got up this morning and checked out the hotel, the Volcano, just on the left hand side there. Lovely hotel, but a complete waste of money for me really, staying in it. £89, I could have been staying anywhere. Any, any of the hotels around about here would have been fine for me, but there was very limited availability. This was one of the cheaper hotels I could find in Las Americas on a Saturday night. I normally don't pay anywhere near that for a hotel tonight. I'm staying in the Sunset Bay in Costa Deque. It's £93 for two nights. So it's almost the same price for two nights as one night in the Volcano. And for me, the complex is just, just as good. Um, for, for what I'm doing anyway, not for a long-term holiday. Maybe you want to stay in the Volcano. But Sunset Bay is really nice. Anyway, um, <laughs> you can maybe tell. Um, viewers, I'm not feeling the best today. I don't recommend staying in the double till half past three in the morning. It's over 30 degrees, it's roasting. I might pass out in a minute, but let me show you the best rated restaurant in Las Americas. It's just around the corner. Okay, so we've got the Volcano on the left hand side. Straight down, we've got the Best Tenerife Hotel. Across the road, we've got the Beta Cora. And I was in here last night. If we go down here and then go left, it'll take you to the Park de la Paz strip of bars. I was in the Bull's Head last night watching the Vagabonds, recommend them. Really, really fantastic band. Lead singers, amazing voice. Um, so that will take you down to part of the past strip. But we are going down this way. So, if you've missed my previous videos, we've got the Tigatan Hotel over on the left hand side. We've got the Coral Beach on the left hand side. I met a view the other day. Lovely meeting you. Who lives in Edinburgh, originally from Ireland. Um, who's staying in the Coral Beach. Let's try and get over quickly with yours. Uh, further up at the end of the road, they're not going as far up as the end of the road, but further up, you've got the Columbus Apartments, the big white building, you can see the end of the road. You've got the Chieftain Pub on this side of the road as well. Across from that, across from the Columbus, you've got Paddy O'Kelly's. Over there on the left, you've got Yolo's Cocktail Bar, the show live sports as well, and you've got a few other bars. And um, just round the corner, at the end of the street, to the left, you've got the Jersey Cow. So, we're in Las Americas. If you get the bus from the airport and you're staying in any of these hotels, the Andorra, the Volcano, the Beta Cora, the best Tenerife, even maybe La Siesta, which is just further down. Um, you might want to go off the bus here. The bus will drop you right here. Central Centre, that's what you want to look for. A wee tip if you're on the bus as well. 
and you're not quite sure what stop to go off at, just Google Maps it while you're on the bus. And when you get close enough, basically go off the bus. I've done that a few times where I've made a mistake and I've, I've tried to get greedy and get closer to the accommodation and then the next stop's been like a kilometre past, I've had to walk back. So don't make that mistake. <laughs> this place open till 2am, like kitchen, you can get food till 2, two in the morning. This is not the place I'm taking you to, I'm going to show you another place. Um, but just to let you know, I have been in here before. It's quite a nice place, more of a kind of Spanish vibe to it. We've got a pool table in there as well. Uh, it's quite nice inside. Cash only, but no cards. Bar Roses across here. Altamar Cafe as well. I've done quite a few videos down here, but I've not highlighted this place. the shade to yours, it is unbelievably hot here. So there, there's the Tigatan, if you can see the big sign at the top of the building, the red sign. Tigatan Hotel, which looks quite nice on the left hand side. If we go right to the end of the road here, and turn right, and go through the roundabout, about five minute walk away, you've got the Mary Lanza um, Sweets and Spa Hotel. Five minutes past that, you've got the Compostela Beach Golf um, apartments as well. So I'm just letting you know if you're coming to Tenerife soon, you booked any of these accommodations. This is what's in your local area, basically. We're nearly there, viewers. Are you excited? Are you excited? We're nearly there. We skate park here. I think this is a residential complex with the green balconies. They've got a swimming pool as well, past it the other day. Probably should go under the pavement or the road. If you're new to the channel, do me a wee favour. It doesn't cost anything at all. Um, if you want to join the community on YouTube, just click the wee button there that says subscribe. It's absolutely free. It doesn't cost a penny. Um, and if you hit the bell for notifications, you get a wee message for upload new videos if you want. But it's free. Right, we are nearly there, thank goodness for us, because I'm about to pass out. <laughs> it's not a good idea to stay out till 3 in the morning, or 3.30 3 in the morning time again, and then do videos the next day, you're not feeling the best. Another coral complex, Coral California, just on the left hand side there as well. Okay, this is us here viewers, I don't think the place is open just now, but I'll show you the menu. Here we go, number one rated restaurant TripAdvisor. By the time of filming, obviously this could change, but it's got fantastic reviews. I've got family who've been in it, they said it was brilliant. It's called the Tio Martin Taberna. Here is a wee bit of the menu. We all love to start with yours. Steamed mussels with white wine, do you fancy that? Iberian pork cheeks stewed with red wine, fried eggs, fried potatoes, garlic prawns. So when I'm saying it's tapas, it's kind of bigger portions actually, it's not really just tapas, it's all different dishes. But they have got some smaller dishes, you can see down here, Canadian potatoes, €4.50, stewed goat meat, boiled octopus. So if you're really into your food and you can take almost anything, I think you're going to love this place because they've got a variety of dishes that will suit everybody. Spanish omelette, €9.50. Euros. It's not tapas, I apologise, it's not tapas. Proper big portions. Pretty nice, eh? So, here's the opening hours for you. Open 1 to 10. And on a Sunday, it's open 1 to 4.30 only. So, I've came just before 1. Do I think it's open just now? Let's see if it is opening, but... Um, you get the QR code if you want to scan it. I don't know if that will work on, on your TV or your phone. And it looks like a lovely place. And as I said, I've got family who've come in and I've highly recommended it. They said the staff are really nice and the reviews are justified. That's it inside. 
very very nice inside so hola hello um, so it looks lovely inside this is Tio Martin what time do you open? At one o'clock okay thank you I have friends who, who were in here the other day said it was very nice Ah, oh, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 <laughs> Told you staff are friendly, eh? So, just about to open viewers. Let me know if you've ever been in that restaurant. And let me know when you come to Tennis. If you do go in the restaurant, let, let them know you've seen it on the YouTube channel. Um, if you don't mind. And leave me a wee comment. Let me know what it was like. Um, Paul and Laura said it was fantastic. One of the best places I've been in Tenerife. Um, I'll maybe go in next time I'm in here. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. Don't forget, subscribe, hit the wee button down there. Um, it's absolutely free, it doesn't cost any. And I'm away to get a drink, feeling terrible. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching, viewers. See you on the next one. Bye bye.